Sometimes I get asked the question, can toxic people actually make you sick? The answer is yes. Even just take a moment to think about some situation that you felt was toxic. A person that you thought was toxic, maybe a coworker, someone you dated. And even as you tune in to that person, tune into your body, how do you feel? Do you feel a little stomach upset? A little tension? A little anger perhaps? We're gonna talk more about how this is making you sick right after the show reel. See, this is the opposite of toxic right here. This is, this is what you want in a relationship. <laughs> you can't feel too much. One of the challenges I see today in people's relationships, and I'm talking about any kind of relationship, a work relationship, a friendship, an interpersonal relationship, is that when people don't treat us well, we don't always walk away. We don't set boundaries. And what boundaries mean is not just saying, hey, stop doing that. But when we actually set a clear boundary, we're saying not only here's what I need, but if you break the boundary, here are the consequences. So in other words, setting a boundary in a toxic relationship might look like this. Hey, I don't appreciate being called stupid. If you call me stupid again, I will leave. And then do it. Because what's happening, I mean, have you ever allowed somebody to maybe speak words to you or do stuff around you, break their promises, and you keep forgiving them because they love you or they give you other things that you need, they pay attention in certain ways? Have you ever not stood up for yourself? Now, this is why it's so important in order to do the emotional healing work of understanding where this comes from. Right? Why do we allow people to treat us a certain way? What are we getting from them? How can we get what we think we need from them? In other words, the love or the attention or the support or the money. How can we get that somewhere else so we don't have to put up with the toxicity? So imagine now that you do some emotional healing work, maybe through some EFT tapping, through some hypnotherapy, through some counseling, psychology, through some somatic body work or somatic therapy of some sort because you want to get rid of it through your mind and your body at the same time. And now you can not only stand up for yourself, but you actually find the resources within yourself to get what you need elsewhere. Because the other thing that I see, and it's not only in relationships, is that when we allow people to treat us poorly and we start feeling angry or have a place where we're not feeling comfortable or safe, it actually makes us sick. Our unconscious mind, in other words, the part of us that runs our body, that runs our mind, that runs our digestion and our heart, and are we in fight flight or are we in safety mood? When that is in a space of trying to keep us safe, it's going to do everything it can to send up a little warning flag saying, hey, get out of there. So it may start as a gut feeling when you first start dating and when you first start being around this person of, hmm, that's really interesting that they said that, or that's really interesting that they did that and feeling a little uncomfortable. Yet we ignore it and we keep going on, giving them the benefit of the doubt. And then something bigger comes up, an actual situation happens. And our mind or our body goes, mm -mm, no, this is not cool. And then our conscious mind might start justifying it. Well, you know, they've been drinking or well, maybe they didn't really mean it that way. Or, you know, I was kind of being a bitch today. So it's okay that they yelled at me in that way as well. And then something bigger happens. Or then we end up in a long-term relationship, job situation, partnership, something with this other person. And because we're not working through our emotional state and because we're not actually getting where I need, we're allowing this toxicity to be inside of us, it actually gets in our nervous system and our body, our unconscious mind, in order to create safety, in order to move us forward, will start making us sick. And this can look like not digesting foods as well, not sleeping, being anxious about things that don't even relate to your relationship, feeling self-doubt, procrastinating, self-sabotaging, numbing. And numbing can be anything from drinking alcohol to working out to watching television. It can look so many different ways. Have you ever numbed a little bit? 
So this is why it's so important to start paying attention to the red flags in that toxic relationship before it makes you sick. To take a stance for yourself and walk away before the mental breakdown starts happening, before you get in the rhythm of forgiving, forgiving's good because forgiving is for you, but allowing other people to treat you in a way that breaks down your own self-value, your own self-worth, and who the beautiful person that you really are in this life and what you're meant to do. So one of the biggest challenges I see is that my cat wants to be with me when I'm doing videos and he's all lovey and it's hard to do a video when my cat wants to be on my shoulder all the time. Isn't it true, Kitty Valentine? So in summary, any strong emotional thought, any strong emotional body reaction that you have from something negative, a toxic person, a toxic situation, a trauma from the past can make you sick. So I invite you, check out my tapping videos, check out my hypnotherapy. I'll put some links down below of different places that you can go to get free support in healing some of your emotional needs. Until then, Remember your love, your loving, and your lovable. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.